Welcome to Grading 101, Introduction to Grading, brought to you by PCGS. Today we're going to look at eye appeal. Eye appeal, most often manifested in the toning or color of a coin, is the most subjective in the areas of grading uncirculated coins. While to most, attractive toning is an asset which helps a coin's grade, not everyone always agrees on what is attractive. Dark, somber toning to some is unattractive. To others, it's a sign of an original, undisturbed surface. Newer coins are often preferred brilliant without toning. But because eye appeal is subjective, we'll illustrate with several photos. First, we'll take a look at two proof-seated dollars. The coin on the left, to most experienced numismatists, is not the most attractive of coins. The toning is rather dark, a little bit splotchy, and the coin really just doesn't jump out as a terribly attractive coin. The coin on the right, you can see, has a rainbow of colors and is considered by most experienced collectors to be an attractive coin. First, we'll look at poor or negative eye appeal. It's characterized by uneven, dark, or splotchy toning, generally poor luster. You can see the peace dollar on the left is certainly not an attractive coin to almost anyone. The Morgan dollar in the center, again, is not an attractive coin at all, with toning covering the device and splotchy toning in the fields. Finally, the Boone commemorative on the far right, very few collectors would find this coin to be attractive. The tone is extremely heavy, it obscures many parts of the coin, and is in general not considered attractive. Next we'll take a look at some coins that we would say have eh, fair or below average eye appeal. The peace dollar on the left, as you can see, has uneven scattered toning, but is not as bad as the peace dollar on the previous slide. The Morgan dollar in the center, likewise, the toning is somewhat dark, somewhat unattractive, but just not quite as bad as the Morgan dollar we saw earlier. And finally, the commemorative shows splotchy, irregular toning. Fair or below average eye appeal has no theme or overall look to the coin. It's just toned. Now we'll take a look at what we would call neutral or average eye appeal. Uh, this is light or no toning at all. It, it really neither adds nor detracts. Uh, you can see the toning is there, but to most people they would be somewhat indifferent towards it. Uh, you see the two commemoratives, the toning is somewhat light, there's still a lot of luster on the coin, and it's just not something that really impacts the viewer terribly one way or the other. Similarly, the Morgan dollar on the right has some light toning, but doesn't really help or hurt the coin a great deal. Next, we'll look at what most would call good or positive eye appeal. Uh, this is attractive and pleasing toning to most. Uh, the colors are good. Uh, you see the commemorative here on the left has uh, s some rainbow toning around the peripheries. Uh, the Morgan dollar, again, is very nice, brilliant, high-grade coin uh, with this crescent toning, which is often acquired through uh, sitting in bags and being overlapped by another coin. And finally, the seated dollar on the right. Uh, the toning, while a little bit dark, is uh, generally considered pretty colorful. On these coins, I think most would agree that the toning helps the coin. And finally, we'll take a look at what we would call outstanding eye appeal. Here you see a seated dollar on the left displaying vibrant color, and the two Morgan dollars, this displaying on the far right, a tremendous rainbow, and in the center, just very light peripheral toning with uh, brilliant, very attractive colors. Remember, though, with eye appeal, beauty is often in the eye of the beholder, and to what some may find extremely attractive, others might not find it attractive at all. So let's take a look at how eye appeal impacts the final grade of a coin. Poor or negative eye appeal, uh, such coins cannot be graded higher than mint state 63, and most will grade in the 60 to 62 range, regardless of other factors. Poor eye appeal generally will result in the loss of at least one or two grading points. Fair or below average eye appeal, the coin is pretty much limited, no higher than 64, most falling in the 61 to 63 range, and can result in an up to a one point deduction. Neutral or average eye appeal, 
Uh, the coin really can't go much higher than 66, with most coins in the 62 to 65 range, depending on other factors. Again, it neither adds nor subtracts from the grade. Good or positive eye appeal can go all the way up to 69 and may actually boost a coin if it's on the borderline between two grades. And if a coin has outstanding eye appeal, there's certainly no upper limit and may add a point to the grade in some cases. Remember, eye appeal is subjective and not all will agree with what is attractive. And again, as we stated earlier, on more modern coins, the lack of toning can add to eye appeal. Most people who collect um, Franklin halves, Roosevelt dimes, Washington quarters, many prefer their coins to be fully brilliant so that the coins in the series all seem to match. Well, thank you for listening and stay tuned for our next webinar where we will continue grading 101.